With Design Shop, there are a lot of ways that you can customize how you're viewing your design, what background color you're looking at it on, um, your measurement units, and the tree view size. So you can customize the whole look of Design Shop to better work with your garments and how you're working with the design. Let's take a look at how to do some of that. For the view window, we can change the background color by right clicking on the background color sliver over here on the left hand side. What that allows you to do is pick a color that matches the garment as closely as possible. So you could run through your thread chart and pick that. If you want to mix a color, you can slide this all the way down. You can choose your color chart, go all the way down to the bottom to system RGB, and then you can choose one that is close and then slide these sliders to where you can match whatever you're working on. So if I was to match the color of my t-shirt, I could get pretty close and then bring this in and come a little bit closer to the color of shirt that I'm wearing, hit apply, and now that's in the background. And now I've got a background that pretty closely matches the color of t-shirt that I've got on. If I wanted to change um, the view of my stitches, right now I've got it on a very flat view that helps me see through my stitches, but if I wanted a preview of what my stitches are actually going to look like, I can left click on 3D and see what that looks like to see the difference in fill and satin and it helps hide that background color a little bit. I can also change what colors I'm seeing. So in the view, pardon me, in the project view, the little red circle shows or hides a color. So if I don't want to see anything, I can turn them all off. If I only want to see one color at a time, I can turn on just that one color. Now that doesn't remove them. It doesn't delete them from the design. They will sew, their, uh, sew out when it gets to the machine. However, you can hide them so that you can see under them. If you want to lock them so that you cannot make changes to them, at least uh, from a wireframe standpoint, you can click on the lock to lock those guys down. So now if I click over in the view window, I cannot select them. And that makes things, I, I kind of use this as a save me from myself button when, I'm, when I don't want to select something that I've already got just the way that I want it. If my project view is a little bit small, I can right click on here and I can change the image size. So I can have it be smaller to include more information or if I find that a little bit hard to read, I can go to tree image size and make it bigger. For the use of this video, I have left it mostly on medium um, and then we'll change it occasionally to make a point. If I want to change my measurement unit, so right now I'm measuring in inches, I can go to tools and options and measurement units and I can change for my density, what I want to measure my density in, my stitch length, I can change based on all of these different things. So my design size is currently at inches. If I wanted it to be centimeters, I could do that. I could change my hoop to centimeters as well. And they don't all have to be the same. So I hit apply and OK. And now my design size is set to centimeters. So you can change your background size. You can change the size of elements in your um, project view. You can also change your measurement units so that you're working in centimeters or millimeters or inches or whatever you tend to work on. You can customize your design shop experience to better fit your needs.